Hey, what's up everybody? It's Must Knight and welcome back to Building South Lake. And today we're going to be working on something we show that I watch called White Collar. And it's something in New York called uh Rockefeller Center, I believe is the name of it. And they have this really cool thing to where they have like a kind of like a small park and like meeting area at the top of the building, and then like a skating ring down below. And I don't know, I really like that idea. And so I'm gonna try to kind of remake that and as close to it as I can. So if you do want to see what it looks like, just type in Rockefeller Center in New York or like on Google Maps or something, and I'm sure it'll pop up. So I I looked around like, where do I want to make it? Because there's actually two buildings side by side that are exactly the same, but I didn't know like, where did I want to make it? Because I didn't want to make it here, which I actually didn't consider here, uh, or I can make it over here on the other side of the highway, which there's no buildings over here yet, and... I kind of decided, why not go over here and make it? And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area over here. Maybe make this into like a and like a small park area. And have the building somewhat over here. So hopefully this works out. And maybe, ooh, we can actually have the ice uh, rink go underneath this and connect. So maybe we can do something with that as well. Uh, so we're actually using, the first time I've actually used this stuff... We're using stained clay, so we're using white, light gray, and gray. Uh, I know it doesn't look too great in this texture pack, but whatever. Uh, we're just going to see how it works out. So, let's start building. So, uh, we're going to start off with our white. We're going to go one, two, one, two. And a lot of these, from what I've... Oh, we need glass as well. Uh, we'll put the grass away, because I won't be until the very end. Uh, so, we need glass paints and glass. So one thing I did notice about a lot of these, they have like a, these really big buildings and they're really nicely designed in New York. So I've been using New York a lot. One, two, three, four, five. I've been using New York a lot for inspiration. Three, four, five, six. And so these buildings are going to be pretty wide. Uh, they're not going to be like extremely wide and everything. Actually, we might cut these down to four. That's what we're going to do. We're going to cut these down to four. So... This actually needs to be moved over then one more. Is that good? Four, four, okay. Oh, swiftness ran out. Oh, it feels good to be working back on South Lake again. Jax. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. So I, I need to figure out how wide I want this to be. One, two, three, four, and five. Because a lot of my buildings, they're not too wide, really. I mean, they're pretty big. But are they, like, really to scale like with everything else. So I need to kind of find that happy medium with this one. One, two, three, four, and five. So I've been working a lot harder on trying to make my buildings a little bit more realistic uh, the past couple episodes. So let's see, this should be, there we go, perfect. So I've been working on that a lot, trying to figure out the happy medium, like I said earlier, which is definitely not as easy as I thought it would be because it takes a lot of time. Jax! Goodness gracious. One, two, three, four. My cat is being really hyper right now, and he's... I have this rug, and what he's doing is... It has, like, a small lip, because it was rolled up. And basically what he's doing is he is rolling around underneath the carpet. Because he just climbs underneath it, and he just messes around like it's a blanket. And I just yell at him, and he usually just meows at me, like, What? I'm, I'm a cat. I'm going to do what I want. Because he really is a pain in the butt. Okay, so we have that. Uh, that looks wide enough for the first one. So, next we're going to go to our stained clay and build up. Boop, boop, boop. And I don't want this building to be too tall either. M mainly reason for that is, in a lot of cities that I've realized that they don't really just have skyscrapers. They have a lot of smaller buildings, but in the downtown areas, that's where they have the skyscrapers. So, I kind of want to make across the highway here a little bit smaller buildings just to see like how it compares and try to make it a little bit more realistic and i still need to add subway stations over here i need to finish up the highway system which i actually came up with an idea for the underground highway that we made man was it man that was a long time ago maybe part five if we made that underground highway so need to work on that and i have an idea for it to kind of finish it up which is actually almost finished. It's right over there. You can barely see it right there. Uh, 
basically my idea is I'll just go show you guys real quick. So let's come down here. Whoop. So my idea is to connect this with the highway outside. So like what I mean by that is because I realized if this isn't exactly realistic because as of right now, you would come across the river. But then if you work over here, how are you going to get over there? So what I might do is make a turn that comes through the wall here. So this would be the exit only lane. And that's what this thing right here is for. So like an exit only. Uh, to where it's going to turn here and go to that outside highway that we're working right by. So that will definitely take some time to do because trying to make sure that actually works correctly and it flows smoothly from building to building will definitely be pretty tough and it will definitely be a challenge but hopefully we can get that to work and okay i'm actually liking this stained clay a lot it actually the texture isn't the best in my opinion but it definitely has a building look and i feel like using the two different colors here will give it a little bit more design as well because we will definitely need a lot of design because this building is definitely going to be a lot longer than wide. Because right now it's not too wide. What? Maybe one, two, three, four, we're five pillars wide right now. So it's not going to be too wide. And we might even add one more. Oh, well, I guess we have more. So we actually should be good. So what? Five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pillars wide. That's pretty good, I think. I mean, it will all come together in the end. Because again, have some, I have some more ideas for this building. And I'm basically, again, replicating it from the Rockefeller building in New York City, which, again, I saw this building in, uh, what was it, in White Collar, one of my favorite TV shows. And I don't know, I just, whoop, messed that one up. And I just love the design of it because they had a episode where they're having a party up there. And just how it looked, it looked really, really cool. And trying to find that. I looked up the ice skating rink because they also had that. They've used this building a lot in the series, but it just looks really good. And I was like, I like that. I'm going to try to remake that. And uh, Southwick's actually coming along pretty nice, I think. It's definitely a lot more realistic than Newfield to an extent. Just by how everything's laid out, the highway system, which now that we can actually expand the map, we're going to have uh, above ground highways as well uh we're gonna have a lot more stuff to this map and eventually i'm gonna submit this one to achievement hunter kind of like how newfield said he got uh onto mega craft if you don't watch rooster teeth it's one of my favorite channels that i watch personally and i was you can submit maps and basically this guy he records people's minecraft maps if they're good enough so i submitted newfield and he messaged me saying hey like your map uh do you want to do a video for it? And of course I said yes, because they're one of my favorite, they are my favorite channel on YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So I said yes to that. And now Newfield is up on Megacraft, which I think it had a hundred and it has like 158,000 views, mainly just because they're extremely popular. If you don't know, Rooster Teeth, really big uh, YouTube channel, basically. They're huge. They make Red versus Blue, which I'm sure some of you guys have heard of. It's a pretty popular show. Uh, okay, we did go. Okay. But yeah, anyways, that made it on to Megacraft. And one thing that was really cool was you guys. Because I didn't use my uh, YouTube name. I used my gamer tag on Xbox. And so he said it was made by DMS Snipes, which is my gamer tag. As a lot of you guys know. And it was really cool seeing all my fans basically saying, Wait, this is not his map. This is MC Builder 92s map. Because a lot of people were like... Whoa, that's because some people don't know my gamer tag. They just they just see the videos, you know. And so that's why it was like really cool to see that because people were just like, whoa, 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 hold on, hold the phone. That's not his map. And it was, it is my map, and I did submit it. It was just really cool to see like the support from everybody, you know, because you don't really see that every day. So let's make some of the windows now. Uh. We might make the windows like one block back. Yeah, this will work. This to give a little more depth as well. And I actually have a couple ideas we could do for this as well. What we might do is we might use, let's see how this looks, ladders. So where are the ladders? Here they are. And may put like ladders like right 
here for the windows. Jax, can you please be quiet? It's like every time I start recording, he has to start meowing. I don't understand it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's see how that looks. So we need to have four windows tall for the first half. So this might work out. So I have two. So we actually need to make this taller, it looks like. Uh, what is this four? Yep. One, two, th oh, three, four. Oh no. So let's see, what else could we talk about? Because we talked about a lot of stuff. I'm finally bringing back the series because it's been a while. Uh, since last episode, well not last episode, but last episode was when I really came back to building South Lake. Because it it's probably been a couple weeks since I've started building on it because of, you know, the holidays and everything going on with that. So that took a, a while to get back. So let's see, how's that look? I don't know, I don't think that looks too bad. We might be able to add some different designs in here later on. Let's see. And I don't know. I'm not sure if I like the lighters or not. I've definitely seen this design used a lot in buildings before. I'm trying to decide if it looks good here. Because this is supposed to be an office building, not a apartment complex. So I'm trying to figure out if this looks okay. I mean to add these it would be a little bit taller. Boop, 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 boop. And a lot of people in the last video I asked, would you guys rather me continue making buildings? Or move on uh, on the next part, like to a new building. Because to some people, seeing the same building like three episodes in a row or two episodes in a row can be kind of boring. So I kind of asked you guys, like, what would you guys rather have me do? Finish the building I'm working on, or would you rather just me move on to a new one? One, two, three, four. And it was kind of like 50-50. I saw a lot of comments saying, finish the building because I want to see how it's finished and blah, blah, blah. And I kind of decided what I'm going to do is what I might do is like the building we were working on last part is right over there. The sandstone one right that I'm pointing at. What I might do is come back to that next part and then maybe come back to this one after this. Like like alternate. Like I'm basically alternating is basically what I'm trying to say. So let's see. What else could we do? We need to. Huh. How do we want to do this? And boop, boop, boop. let's get rid of these because here's how the building actually looks now. Once you get past this, we're actually getting to some of the cooler parts now here in a couple minutes. So we're going to get rid of this. So we have the windows. I know, I think that actually looks pretty good. So what we do now is kind of continue the same thing right here. So what, this is the second. Oh, come back. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, happy I realized that now. I've been doing a lot of messing up lately, even like building for fun. So this needs to come up now. So this should wait. Is that right? I'm confused. So wait, that, this needs to be like that. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. I think I figured it out. And boop, 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 boop. we're good there. And now we start making the window. So, one, two, three, four. Boop, 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 boop. And put our light gray, light gray. One thing I've definitely been doing more is, I know I keep talking about like stuff I've been doing more recently. But one thing I've definitely been doing a lot more uh, recently is thinking ahead. So like when I do get to the interior, I'm thinking about how the floors are gonna be laid out, how this is gonna work. So I'm thinking about like how it's gonna play out in the long run. Which is something I didn't used to do as much. I used to do it a little bit, but again, not as much as I used to. Uh, which is definitely helping me out a lot. For and we'll cut it off here. So I think we're good there. Boop boop boop. How's this look? Let's take a step back. So like if we were coming across the road, I actually think that looks pretty good. It kind of looks like an office building. Granted, it's not done yet. So. Do 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 and okay. Bup, 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 bup. And bup, oh no. Bup, 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 bup. I'm trying to think like what else do I want to do with this city when I'm done? Because Newfield, I'm not sure if you guys actually knew this, but Newfield was actually supposed to be a Hunger Games map when it was all said and done. 
which I don't think a lot of people expected that. They're like, whoa, I thought you were just building it for fun, which I was. But also, when I was done with it, I figured, hey, why not just make it... Why is that five? Oh, okay, that's why. Uh, I wanted to make it into a Hunger Games because you don't see really too many city Hunger Games. And when you do, they're really, really small and cut off. I mean, like, I know I've seen a lot of good ones on, uh, on YouTube. I'm sorry if I'm saying a lot, guys. It's something I try not to do as much, but it's definitely really hard not to do it. Yeah, so I saw a lot of good one of those on YouTube. But at the same time, it's like, those are very rare to have those good of builds. Which, Newfield is, in my, in my head, is a decent build. And you guys might be thinking, saying, whoa, that's a really good build in my head. But, like, if I compare that to other cities I've seen on PC, on... Basically, just on PC mainly because there's so many good buildings and stuff. You see so many more good buildings and designs and well thought out. So, I don't really consider Newfield being the extraordinary build that some of you guys see it as. Mainly because I'm hard on myself uh, to an extent as well. But, again, a lot of it's just because I'm hard on myself. I don't think I'm the best builder. I already know I'm not. I'm not going to say at all that I am. Because if I was the best builder in the world, I would be... I don't know, and I'd be amazing at interior because to be an amazing builder all all the way around, you have to be good at everything. You can't just be good at exterior. You can't just be good at interior. You have to be good all the way around. Now, if you're classifying yourself as a amazing builder in that one category, that's a little bit more acceptable. But to me, just like how you set it up really makes a difference. I know, I actually kind of like the ladders. I'm trying to think of something though I could do in between. Like, in those two blocks in between the windows. Maybe, let's look at stuff we have. Uh, ba -ba 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 what could we use? So, that's light gray stained clay. There's not really too much we could really do with it. I like the depth that it gives us though, because it gives us a little bit more depth to it. And 3D ness if that makes any sense probably didn't but how much time are we at because we basically got this done 17 minutes uh let's see so we need to move this over a little bit all the way over to oh goodness gracious use the wrong one yeah i actually wasn't sure if i was gonna really use the stained clay too much for buildings but i think from now on i definitely will just how it looks because one i know it's only this texture pack that i'm using and eventually, I want us to be able to make texture packs on the 360 and on the one. And it's on the consoles in general. Because I think that would be really cool. A really cool feature that would actually bring people over to the consoles. Because a lot of people like making texture packs. A lot of people like using different texture packs. And I know I talked about this a long time ago. But some of you guys might be wondering. Well, why can't they just bring over texture packs from the PC over to the consoles? Well, that's actually a lot easier said than done. They answered this question a long time ago. And the reason for it is copyright. Because somebody made that themselves. And you have to get their permission to use it. Like for Flows HD. If I want to get that onto the console. I would have. And 4J wanted to actually put that. Like actually part of the game. They would have to go ask the person who made it. And they would have to go get their permission. And a lot of these guys would probably want money for it. Which is something... Companies, if you don't know, they don't like paying for stuff that they don't have to. So, I think what they're trying to do is come up with their own texture packs that people will like without costing them money for paying somebody. And I thought about this the other day. Why don't they just make it to where Mojang, because Mojang basically owns 4J Studios, if you... Well, I guess Microsoft basically does now. But, what they should really do is make it to where if you make a texture pack... It will be. It should be allowed to be used on any platform there is Minecraft. So it would give them permission to bring it over because it's saying, "Look, you made this for our game, our company. We are allowed to use it in however way we want." I think that'd be a really cool thing to do, just to make sure that we can actually bring those over. Because if you make it to where it's put in a like a license agreement or something like that, that if you make one and you don't want it being used on the consoles or anything t too bad because you're using our game to make it so we're gonna use it in however the way we want Jax move I can't see my screen well no don't headbutt me 
Jax. I'm trying to build here. Thank you. I love how he just stops in front of me, my cat, and he's just like, Hey, what are you doing? How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. You should pet me. And he's just like looking around at everything, sniffing everything. He loves sitting on my PS4, playing with all my pens. Ah, cats are definitely something else. I mean, they're I love cats and I love dogs. But man, cats are definitely just so much more stubborn. I'm not sure like what it is, but man, cats are just in general. It's just like, what's your problem? What are you doing? I'll be looking here. We're actually looking pretty good, I think. We actually might have this pretty much done. Boop, 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 boop. And let's see how we look when it's all completed. I actually feel like that's pretty good size. It actually looks pretty good scaled up. And it's probably going to be, wow, I'm not even sure how long it's going to be. It's going to probably be, what if it starts here? My guess would be it'd probably come all the way out to about here. Would be my guess is how long this building is going to be. So we have a lot of work to get done, but at the same time, it won't be too bad. Well, hopefully. I'm saying that, but it probably will. So we might call it quits for this part since we're already at 20 minutes. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are liking this series. It's really fun for me to be doing this for you guys. So you guys can see how I build my cities and my buildings and get the ideas and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of people do ask for like, well, how'd you get your designs? How'd you do this? So hopefully this series kind of answers your questions, guys. So thank you for watching, guys. Please rate and subscribe. If there's any buildings you want me to build in the city, like from a actual city in real life or one you've seen in Minecraft before, let me know. Just let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. So bye-bye, guys. And again, thank you for watching.